Microphone is on. Whew. Do a thumbnail. Hi guys, I'm Marley Silva and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Whew. I am pooped magooped. Yesterday was gloomy and I was like full of energy and today is gloomy. And I'm like literally like no. I left the office two hours early because I'm just so tired and I'm off for the next two days. So I kind of just want to be at home and just be alone. Is that bad to say? Like, I don't know. Um, last night, I'm like, where do we leave off? Today is February 5th. Um, last night I had a bath and then went to my family's for dinner. And um, my dad has just been so amazing and so incremental in like my life and he's had dinner ready like every evening and I just he's so admirable and I look up to him so much and I just don't know how he does it like I just don't know how he does it and I'm just always in awe of him and he's like the most supportive hard-working person and dedicated father I've ever met in my life and I don't know. I'm so lucky. Like, I'm so lucky to have a dad like that. Like, I'm so lucky to have a dad that is like that because it's, it makes me strive to be better and it makes me my worst critic and it makes me so hard on myself and it makes me want to push myself to be better because I have him as a role model. And a part of my heart breaks every single day because I can't take care of him and I can't give him the world and I can't pay for, for him to go on a vacation and give him the things that he deserves in his life and at the same time I'm just happy that like I can hopefully be someone that he's proud of with the ebbs and flows of my life but yeah no last night we had shrimp and he made a chili which was so good so good and um yeah I, I was actually it was funny because last night I was going to order all the parts for my iPod and um, I was looking on the site that I was going to order the parts from and they have a section where you can build your own iPod with like battery storage everything so I was like I did the math and I was like wait if the iPod I bought from eBay for 165 Canadian and then Amazon for the memory cards, this place for all the parts to gut it, eBay for more parts. It would have came up to the exact same price as it would have costed for me to just build, like build it on the site, then build it properly and then send it to me. So last minute I canceled my order from eBay from the seller because it was a Sunday night and he hadn't shipped it. So I canceled it and they refunded it. They were so amazing. And I feel really, really bad because he was such an awesome guy and I just kind of canceled my order, but um, yeah, no. So I um, reordered with this other company and I'm really, really excited to receive it. I hope it doesn't take too, too long, but I'm just grateful for it really. So I'm really, really excited. And I've just been kind of like, I spent last night after I ordered it and the latter parts of today, um, just like, getting audiobooks and like looking up really like good audiobooks and mental health books that are audiobooks and reclaiming all of the old music that I love and albums and discographies that I love so much and I'm just in this really interesting audio bubble I was in a video bubble at the beginning of the year and then February I've just totally switched gears and like transitioned into like my audio bubble so it's really interesting but I'm so excited to just immerse myself and I haven't been seeing fr friends, 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 all that much. Me and Caitlin have a bunch of concerts this month and I'm seeing, I'll probably see one of my other friends at some point. Um, there's no really like plans made or anything. We're both really, really, really busy people, but I've kind of just been spending my off time with family and, you know, 
conjuring up my music library and organizing it and um, filming videos and editing videos. So I've just been immersed in this creative like kind of envelope. And one of the people that I watched that actually inspired me even further to get an iPod was, I wonder if he's gonna be in my recents. Yeah, there he is. His channel's called Spencer's Adventures. He has 4.8K. And his most recent video that I was watching is called The Rise of the Subscription Economy, which I actually really enjoyed watching. And it's so true. But the video that kind of inspired me is called How I'm Consuming Media Differently in 2024. And I don't know if he's from Canada. I think he might be because he was talking about an, an album from Newfoundland, which I found was really interesting. But he had three videos on ditching Spotify and basically just using the actual iPod that I bought as well. So I don't know, like maybe it was the final push I needed. Maybe it was the inspiration and the energy that I needed to connect with to reinvoke that that passion and that excitement for it in me. And um, yeah, I couldn't be more excited to just kind of get into this offline chapter. And, um, you know, I, what the heck is that? I am um, just, I don't know, I'm a little tired. I'm feeling the effects of winter time. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like overtly seasonally depressed. I'm like seasonally exhausted. Is that a thing? Um, I haven't been sleeping the best the last week. Like I, it's just been a nightmare. Um, I took melatonin Thursday and Friday and slept fine. Saturday I didn't take it, I took, I slept fine. Sunday I didn't take it, I was up at 2 a.m. Today I didn't take it, I was up at 2 a.m. So I will most likely be taking it. I don't even know if I should take it on my off days. We'll see. It's just so tricky. It's a slippery slope. I don't want to have to take something to sleep. I also don't want to not sleep. So we'll see kind of what I'm thinking, what I'm brainstorming in my brain of mine. But yeah, not getting rest for me is like debilitating because I can't perform. I can't function. So, um, and I haven't been drinking. I don't do drugs. I don't do weed. I don't do weed. Am I 50? I don't do weed. Um, I don't do anything. I just raw dog life. I have coffee in the morning, but if I, like I know myself, like if I'm not doing anything and I'm still feeling this way, something's up. I'm either really, really stressed or just thinking too much. I don't know. I'm, I've been trying to like really down my screen time. So yeah, it's a battle for sure. But I had a good day overall and I'm excited for my days off. My hair is herring. I don't know, I had it in a clip all day. This is the third day. It's been in a clip unwashed. But I'm gonna throw it up and have a bath after this. But um, but yeah, I don't know. Life, is, life and time is funny because when you really put things in a perspective, like life is life, it's continual and time doesn't end and it just goes by so fast. And I'm 27, I'm like, who is that girl inside that used to listen to her iPod to get through middle school, have one headphone in her ear in health class in high school listening to Lana Del Rey's Born to Die on repeat? Like that person is still inside me. And I almost feel like I need to get through life with one AirPod in my ear just to get through it. And if you guys can relate with being that type of person, leave a comment or well, I turn my comments off, but like the video because I, I do see the likes and it makes me happy even though I've turned them off publicly. Um, but yeah, so I don't know, maybe a part of me is kind of feeling weird because where I, my life last year at this time was like completely different. I mean, we broke up a month, like if today's February, we broke up March 26th. Well, that's when it ended really. So, um, it's crazy. It's almost been a year. So I don't know. I'm so excited for the future though. Like, I feel like I'm always so excited. Like I am one of the most beautiful people that I know. I am the most beautiful person I know. I was driving to work today and I'm like, I'm so funny. Like, I'm just like laughing at myself, but, um, yeah, no, I just love this little chapter and yeah, we'll see where it goes. So 
I'm sorry if I'm a little like melodramatic or um, monotone is the word I would use. I'm just kind of like feeling what I'm feeling to be honest. But I messaged um, Hazlitt again, the guy I was talking about in my last video. And my, I, cause I told my brother, I was like, yeah, like this guy that I love his music, like I'm obsessed. I showed my brother the DMs and he's like, he asked how you liked it and you didn't even answer him. That's why he screened you. And I'm like, I don't care. And then obviously I started thinking about it. So I messaged him and I was like, you remind me of Logan Bowden. I find it dreamy with a twang, elements of spaciness, lyrics to kill and a melody to keep it on repeat. Thoroughly enjoyed overall my vibe. And then he replied, he was like, aw, with like the blushing crying thing. And he liked my comment and I liked his. So supportive queen. But yeah, no, I have been listening to him on repeat. And I actually last night had Blue Mountain and his 2017, which I don't know why it doesn't show older stuff, like fucking annoying. Honey, where is my home? But um, I've been kind of obsessed with uh, Blue Mountain and please don't be on my skin. My skin and everybody hates me is just so good, so good. I can't even believe I'm sharing this underground music with you guys and sharing all my like favorite music, but yeah, no, it's been on repeat literally for the past two days. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I'm going to hunker down in my apartment and just be in my own space and have a bath. And I'm probably gonna try to stay up really late tonight and just enjoy my actual time off. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in to my diary entry for February 5th, 2024. I love you guys so much and I'll see you later. Bye.